Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mohammad Anas of ECE second semester studying in Sri Venkateswara College of Engineering. In this video, we are going to learn about diodes, its types and its applications. Now we are going to learn about diodes. A diode is the simplest and most fundamental non-linear current element. Like a resistor, it has two terminals. Unlike a resistor, it has a non-linear current voltage characteristic. It is used in rectifiers, is the most common application. The physical structure of diode. This is the physical structure of diode. At P type silica, and N type silica. At P type silica, it is anode, and N type silica, it is cathode. The diodes are formed by joining P type and N type semiconductor. Diode. It is an electric device which allows current to flow only in one direction. The voltage applied to the semiconductor diode is referred to be forward voltage. It means when the voltage is supplied to a diode from positive to negative or negative to positive, it is called bias voltage. They the, there are two types of bias voltage, forward bias and reverse bias. In the next day, we are going to learn about forward bias. At for, this is forward bias. Positive terminal of a battery connected with P type and negative terminal of a battery connected with N type. The maximum flow, flow of current throughout the diode during the forward bias. During the forward bias, maximum flow of current takes place. The deflection region is smaller in forward bias PN junction. As you, wait a second. As you see here, as you see here, it is P type and N type. P type is positive and N type is negative, connected to negative. Here, these white are holes and these yellowish are free electrons. Holes are positive and these free electrons are negative. As you as I told, the deflection region is narrow, is small. The flow of current from positive to negative is called forward bias. In the next slide, we are going to learn about reverse bias. The positive terminal of a battery which connected to N type. The negative terminal of a battery connected to P type. Extremely small current flow throughout the diode during reverse bias. The deflection region is larger. As you see here, the deflection region is larger bias in forward bias PN junction. Then a breakdown occurs in it. PN junction. This is a schematic circuit diagram of reverse bias voltage. As you see, next N region is connected to positive and P region is connected to negative. Here they see as I told, the wider deflection region is present. So as the deflection region is larger, the flow of small flow of current takes place. In it is in the reverse bias. As in the forward bias, I told the N is connected to negative and P is connected to positive. The wider deflection region is present, the maximum flow of current takes place. As the wider deflection region is present, it is the small flow of current takes place in this circuit. Now we are going to learn about types of diode. First, PN junction diode, LED diode, photo diode, and Zener diode. This is the PN junction diode, LED diode, photo diode, and Zener diode. First, we are going to learn about PN junction.
sorry for the inconvenience. If at the yours one way value is a pn junction with p type on one side and n type on another side when a positive voltage is applied to the p type side it is forward bias as i told you it shrinks and overcome the deflection ozone causing the current to flow from the p type to n type this is pn this is our pn junction and now led led means light emitting diode are made up of two two light semiconductors a light source such as gallium arsenide gallium gallium arsenide phosphide it is a pn junction diode which emits light when it is active now we are going to learn about photodiode a photodiode is a semiconductor device which converts light into current a small current of a small amount of current is also produced when no light is present this simplest example for photodiode is solar cell first one a zener diode is a diode which allows current to flow in the forward direction in the same manner as an ideal diode but also permits it to flow in the reverse direction when the voltage is above a certain value known as a breakdown voltage means when the voltage is above a certain value there is a breakdown of your voltage takes place now we are going to learn about the applications applications of diode circuit first one rectifier rectifier is classified into three half wave rectifier full wave rectifier bridge rectifier and clippers now we are going to learn about rectifier a rectifier is a device which converts alternating current into direct current and this process is called rectifier as you know when the ac is converted into dc is called rectifier now we are going to learn about half wave rectifier it is a simple type of rectifier which is made with just one diode as you see it is made up of just one diode when the voltage of ac means alternating current is positive alternating current is positive the diode becomes forward biased and current flows throughout it when the voltage is negative the diode is reverse bias and the current loops means when the when the rectifier is in forward bias the current flow throughout it when it is in reverse bias the current loops or it stops now we are going to see how the forward bias in half wave rectifier as the input is given it passes out positive it passes out positive to negative as you see the voltage is output is formed this is how the input is given and current flows throughout the diode or the circuit and the output is formed now we are going to learn about full wave rectifier this rectifier is essentially made up of two half wave rectifiers and can be made with two diodes when the voltage of alternating current is positive one of the diode becomes forward bias where the other gets reverse hence current flows throughout the forward bias when the voltage of an alternating current is negative the previous reverse bias diode becomes forward bias where the other gets reverse bias hence current flows throughout the forward bias diode the third point is thus the current flow at least throughout one of the diode at a time i will show you can easily understand in the next slide in the schematic how it is how it is work during the positive half cycle 
I have told you it is made up of two halves, positive and negative. As you see, it is made up of two layers, D1 and D2. During positive half cycle, the D1 is a forward bias current. It is a closed circuit. As you see, it is a closed circuit. And D2, it is a reverse bias. It is an open circuit. During, when we pass the input, I, sorry, during half, positive half cycle, when we pass the input, the output is formed. It gives uncontinuous waveform. Plus, as you see here, the voltage passed throughout the diode in this direction and the output is given. During the negative half cycle, as I told, it is made up of two diode, D1 and D2, where this D1 reverse bias. It is an open circuit and D2 is a forward bias. It is a closed circuit. When the output is given, this is how the output, uh, when the input is given, this is how the output is formed. It is a continuous waveform. During this, here the D1 is an reverse bias. It can't, <coughs> it is an open circuit. It loops the current where D2 is a forward bias. It is a closed circuit. It gives the output of what we have given the input. Now we are going to learn about bridge rectifier. A bridge rectifier is an arrangement of four or more diodes in a bridge. Circuit configuration, which provides the same output polarity for either input polarity. It is used for converting an alternating current AC into the direct current DC output. The main advantages of this bridge circuit is that it does not require a special center type transformer. Therefore, thereby reducing its size and its cost. The single secondary winding is connected to one side of the diode bridge network and the load to the other side as shown below. I'll show you. As, if, as I told you, it is made up of four diodes. D1, D2, D3 and D4. This bridge, bridge pull wave rectifier using negative half cycle input and output. Here, the D3, as I told you, D1 diode, D2 diode, D3 and D4. Here, the board. D to D3 and D3 and D4 are closed circuit. They form forward bias in it. Whereas D1 is reverse bias, D2 is also reverse bias. It is a close, it is an open circuit, and D2 is also an open circuit. As you see, D3 is closed and D4 is closed. The flow of current takes place. It is a closed circuit. As you see here, it is a closed with D1 and D2 are open circuit. When you pass the input, this is how the waveform are formed or the output is formed. Next, we are going to see about the, during, how the waveform is formed during positive half cycle in a bridge full wave rectifier. As you see in this, D1 and D2 are closed current. They form forward biasing, where D3 and D4 are reverse bias. They are open circuit. When the input is given, when the input is given, this is how the output is formed. Now we are going to learn about clippers. This is a wave shaping circuit that takes an input waveform and clips or cut off its top half, bottom half, or both half together to produce an output waveform. As you see here, when the waveform is given, it cuts above 
or it cost below wave to produce an output waveform. This is a negative flipping circuit. When the input is given in this negative of a waveform is cut and output is given as positive. In it. As you see in this simplest circuit diagram of the negative flipping circuit, this is the positive diode, positive diode flipping circuit. When the input is given, it cuts the positive waveform and gives the negative waveform. This is how the clipping X works. Thank you guys for watching my video and please like and subscribe my channel.